Okay, so in this video, we're just going to talk about what it really means to have slope and intercept of a line. Because you're going to hear so much about slope and so much about intercept, and so much about calculating these things, it's easy to, to, to forget that there's really a great uh, or, or logical way to think about these intuitively. So this is a, a little applet on mathopenreference.com. I think it's great and it really helps us see what's happening with these lines without even getting into too much of the details, just on the intuitive sense. And this is, you know, really in math how I think you can really gain some insight by playing with numbers and by seeing what happens and using what you see to form some kind of conclusion like you would in science. So when you have an equation, the, the, the y-intercept, right, is just the point that the line crosses the y-axis. So if we play around with this, here's our bar right here, we can go up with the y-intercept or down, right, below zero. Well, what do you see happening? Well, as uh, you can just look at this, right, as we play with the y-intercept, what's happening? Our line is actually moving up and down, which means that it crosses the y-axis at different points. So if I raise it all the way up, to 25, well look there, the red line crosses our y-axis at 25. And if we lower this out, or we can, we can zero it out, there it crosses at zero. And you can just see, get a basic sense that as you change the y-intercept, this line will move up and down, right? The, or the point that it crosses the y-axis moves up and down. Now, let's, let's just, you know, keep this simple here, have it cross at five, and let's play with the slope. What happens if I increase the slope? Well, there it's going up, right? And look at how it's happening as you go down, right? What's happening here? And I guess the, the main focus is turning point is zero. All right, what happens when our slope is zero? Well, it looks like the line is flat, and that's some really important intuition, right? And that essentially means the line is not moving up or down. Right, it has no slope. Its slope is zero. Oh, sorry, it doesn't have no slope. The slope is zero. It's not moving up or down. But as we increase slope, our line gets steeper and steeper. Right, almost to the point where it's vertical. And that's and when a line gets vertical, and we'll talk about this in other videos. That's when we have an undefined slope or no slope. But here, at zero, it's flat. It does have a slope. It's just zero. It's not going up or down. And then as we go, we go negative here, right? right? Our line turns in a sense, right? There's zero, it doesn't go up anymore with the positive slope. It zeroes out, and then we go into negative slope values. Here, the line turns down. And if you look at our equation here, right, the slope is this number, right? And, as, and if it's negative, you can see this, this type of negative slope. If it's zero, right? That number is zero, and as it increases here, our lines get our lines get steeper and steeper, and that number goes up, right, in the equation. And the second number, you can just see it as we change it. That number is the y-intercept. That's just to give us a little sense of what these things are, and they even show us here that the the slope m is is the variable m, and the intercept is the variable b. That's the y-intercept. So I encourage you to, to go to this website and play around with this and, and, and see what happens as you change both slope and intercept.